designed by the famous modern architect Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, the Tamarano Dominion Center, home of TD Bank, was in the same style as van der Rohe's Seagram building, with straight lines, granite floors with pillars carefully centered on the lines between the blocks. interior made with travertine. The first tower of the complex was built in 1967 and the last completed in 1987. There are a total of six towers. The original CIBC building was designed by the Canadian architecture firm of Pearson and Darling and completed in 1931. The original building was a limestone-clad steel structure with Art Deco design elements, including the carved faces meant to represent courage, observation, enterprise, and foresight. The interior of the bank is equally grand, with high-vaulted arch ceilings modeled after the Roman baths of the Emperor Caracalla. Commerce Court began to expand in 1972 when new towers of the international style were added. The Royal Bank Plaza was designed by WZMH Architects for the Royal Bank of Canada and completed in 1976. It consists of a 41-story South Tower and a 26-story North Tower. Its most notable feature is the gold content of its windows, used for its high insulation values. Union Station was designed by Ross and McDonald and opened its doors in 1927. It's built in a beautiful and ornate bow art style. In fact, it was so beautiful that on the inauguration day, the Prince of Wales exclaimed, You build our stations, how we build our cathedrals. It features a Tuscan colonnade across its, the front of the building, made of Bedford limestone. The Hockey Hall of Fame has had several phases. Opened in 1885, it was originally the head office for BMO. Until 1982, after BMO had moved their head office elsewhere, it was used as the main Toronto branch. In 1993, the building was moved away from its original banking roots and moved on to storing other prized possessions as the Hockey Hall of Fame. It now houses, among other things, the Stanley Cup. It is done in a bow art style and is one of the few buildings to survive the 1904 fire, making the Hockey Hall of Fame one of the oldest buildings in Toronto. The Toronto Street Post Office is also one of the few buildings to survive the fire. Opened in 1853, it was Toronto's seventh post office. Built in a Greek Revival style, it features ionic columns and the English coat of arms. It is now privately owned, sold to an investment company for the most expensive real estate per square foot in all of Canada. The Sony Center for the Performing Arts was built in 1960. The architectural style of the Sony Center is mid-century modern. The building is used as a performing arts center. It has always been like that. Nothing has changed. Formerly known as the O'Keeffe Center and Hummingbird Center. The Fairmont Royal York was built by Canadian Pacific Railway and opened in 1927. For the inauguration, the Prince of Wales said that you build your stations like we build our cathedrals. The building is used as a hotel, conferences and seminars, as well as for functions and balls, which makes the Fairmont Royal, Royal York even fancier. The style of architecture is based on French Renaissance style. It was built out of concrete, brick, and copper on the roof, and stone and steel throughout the building. The hotel has 28 floors with 1,365 rooms and suites. Fun fact, on the eighth floor of this building, there is a ghost that haunts the floor you can hear loud footsteps and screaming when no one is around. St. Lawrence Market was originally built out of wood but was replaced by brick in 1831. People entering the south side of St. Lawrence Market today pass through the archways of the original 1845 City Hall. St. Lawrence Market is known for its produce since 1901.
The St. James Cathedral was built between the years of 1850 and 1874. Frederick William Cumberland and Thomas Flat iron is the second structure to exist on the small triangular piece of land. The original was built in 1845. Flat iron is Romanesque in design with traces of Gothic. The cornice above the fourth floor has a wealth of intricate Romanesque designs. Above the cornice is a steeply sloped roof that is originally covered with copper, although the copper has since been removed. The roof line is broken by eight peaked gable windows on the fourth, four on the north side of the building and four on the south. St. Lawrence Hall was built in 1849 by architect William Thomas. The architectural style is a Renaissance revival. Many consider the St. Lawrence Hall his greatest achievement. It is one of the finest examples of Victorian classicism in Canada. It used to be used for balls, receptions, concerts, lectures, and is now used for wedding galas and private events. It has 16 Corinthian capital columns, plastered tall ceiling, and 38 feet above the wooden floor. The stone construction is a bulk of the exterior.